being as a software engineer, three years of experience, I would like to know the IT job markets, especially if you took a graduation diploma in IT in New Zealand. And I've done my BTEC in ECG. How easy is it to get a job as a fresher after when we complete the one year course there? Also, some of the agents in Kerala are saying like, it's easy to get a PR, even if I get a job as a receptionist, especially if we took IT diploma in New Zealand. All these uh, unqualified, incompetent, uh, foolish people are spreading such wrong notions about studies in New Zealand and what happens after you study in New Zealand. So, you know, it, it's it's not correct uh, what they're saying. Uh, but coming back to the positives, uh, your background is good. Uh, you've done uh, something, obviously opting to do something in information technology. You have a background in uh, ECE, which is very good. So it's a good mix. Uh, so the course choice is a very good course choice. Uh, you will definitely need to find a job that is related to the course you have completed. So if you're coming to do a course in IT, you will need to find a course, uh, a job in IT. And that's the only way you will get further visas in New Zealand. So all those things that this, this your agents in Kerala is saying, uh, you must stop listening to them because they'll mess up with your life. I'll tell you the difference between people like this and people like us is these guys will put you on a plane and forget all about you and wave you goodbye and that's it. They'll be happy to pocket their commission and forget all about you. But we don't believe in that. We believe our relationship starts at the time uh, like this when you inquire with us and then it continues till the time you, you know, uh, reach that final goal of finding that job and settling down and our advice keeps going continuously. So what these guys are saying is very wrong. Coming to New Zealand is only one third of the journey. The two thirds of the journey and the challenges start after you land in New Zealand and that is where we are present uh, here in New Zealand.